Hi, I'm Arvada Mayor Mark Williams. When Council Member Rachel Zinzinger was appointed in January to fill a state Senate seat, we found ourselves in a unique position. We needed someone to fill her spot and finish out her term in District 1. According to the rules of the city charter, we opened it up to the public and 16 people from District 1 applied. The council narrowed that down to five. Those five candidates participated in a forum televised for four hours on Arvada's Channel 8. After a balloting process and a public vote, we unanimously selected a lifelong Arvadan. I'm pleased to introduce to you Arvada's new council member, Jerry Marks. Jerry, welcome. Thank you. We're thrilled to have you as a member of council. Tell us a little bit about your history here in Arvada. Well, actually, my, uh, my folks moved to Arvada the year I was born in 1960 in the area of 53rd and Marshall and grew up there until I was in about second grade. And they bought a new home up off 70th and Carr. Uh, went up there, went to Peck Elementary, uh, St. Anne's in Old Town, Arvada High School, uh, graduated high school, went to Metro Knights uh, while working for a local utility company. And uh, that's when I joined the fire department as a volunteer and served nine years as an Arvada f volunteer firefighter. Well, that's great. You've got uh, family here in Arvada, correct? I do. Uh, my wife uh, is here, my two daughters. Uh, I've got a brother that's still here. Our whole family had lived here and uh, unfortunately uh, my parents are deceased and a sister deceased but uh, we were all lifelong Arvada residents. Well, that's great. Now it's a big commitment to be a part of the Arvada City Council. What made you decide to throw your hat in the ring? Well I'm, I'm very active in community service. Uh, my folks instilled that into all of us kids and uh, I just felt like uh, it was time to take that next step to another level within the city and also looking out over the next three to five years, I think the decisions that are going to be made on city council will have a 40-year impact to the community, and I just want to be part of the process. You know, you've certainly been very visible in the community with your involvement with the Chamber of Commerce, with your business. Why do you think your commitment to this community is so very important? I, I like to give back. Uh, again, my, my work ethic, the, the way I was raised, uh, every mentor I had, wherever I worked, uh, everybody did some form of community service. So it's just my way of being involved and, and, and being active in the community. It's part of your DNA. It is, sir. <laughs> You've got a very successful business here in Arvada. Tell us a little bit about that and what that business background will bring to your service on City Council. Well, it's uh, Custom Environmental Services. We've been in business 15 years in Arvada. We go statewide and into the neighboring states for environmental projects. We do chemical spills and hazmat cleanup, asbestos abatement. And the reason uh, I think it'll benefit me is we're always dealing with a variety of clients and customers and you have people that are very excited uh, at the time of an emergency that we've got to hold their hand and walk them through a process and other people, uh, you know, they really don't know anything about the environmental world and they're just so happy that we're there. So I kind of get the both sides of of that with, uh, with just working with clients and, and people. The other side is the budget. You know, I balance to a budget every year and finances, and so I'm hoping I can contribute and offer some, some suggestions uh, as I get plugged in. Yeah, that's an area that Arvada's been very successful during some very tough economic times is that we've been very fiscally conservative, and I know you'll bring that same uh, intent yeah. to the uh, council and your work on that. That's absolutely wonderful. Now, you've lived in District, tw District 1 for 20 years. Yes. Sir. Tell us a little bit about what you think the issues are facing District 1. Well, it's, a, it's an aging part of the city. Uh, the homes were built, I believe, in the 60s and 70s. Uh, so my concern is how do we maintain uh, those homes and still add the infrastructure, add facilities, upgrade facilities, uh, in that area. You know, we're kind of landlocked in that district. So uh, I'd like to be involved in, in figuring out those issues to, to keep the amenities and, and maybe a rec center, whatever, uh, in that area east of Wadsworth, but uh, uh, just to be part of that process. Now, I know you're going to make some specific efforts to reach out to the residents of District 1. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, what I've implemented, I talked to the uh, manager at King Supers at 80th and Wadsworth and beginning in March, March the 8th, 
the second Saturday of every month, I will be at King Supers from 10 a.m. to noon, just kind of having a meet and greet and would invite anybody to come by that can uh, wants to visit and offer suggestions or input uh, in the process, get to know me a little bit. That's great. You know, Jerry, we, uh, it was a very tough process. We had very many qualified people who applied for the position. It was pretty rigorous in terms of that forum, and we congratulate you and thank you for your willingness to serve and congratulate you on your appointment. Thank you very much. I appreciate it and look forward to working with you and council. You know, we were very fortunate to have so many qualified finalists for that open council seat. It just goes to show how passionate and committed our residents are to the city of Arvada. I'm Mayor Mark Williams. Thanks for watching another edition of Arvada Insights, and that's a wrap.